Howdy y'all. Welcome to Air Gun Sunday. We got a little video today, a little different. Uh, we're going to do a comparison of a bolt versus a side lever. Uh, talking to a, a person online and I've known him for a while online. I've never met him in person, but uh, and I know where he was coming from when he was stating what he was stating. So, uh, is side levers the future? You know, is it better technology stuff like that? Uh, the side lever is, I guess, not a new thing. Uh, it might be in air guns. I say it, it's been around a little while already, but <clears throat> but from the point of not lifting and pulling, you know, that's been around for a long time. Uh, I believe it was the the Mausers that uh, has the push pull bolt you know on, on firearms so that the concepts not been is not new it's been around but uh but basically what we're going to do today is just to do a little bit of comparison pros and cons of each uh there's nothing to get into arguments about okay <clears throat> but uh let's just kind of look and see what we got what we're going to do is i got my lineman trigger pull tester and we're going to see how much uh, force it takes to cock one of these things now this only goes to 12 pounds uh, this, this is the best one I've got uh, I don't have anything else that goes higher than that I wish they had a, like a, a cross or not a crossbow but a compound bow pull those going up there up to 100 pounds or so because I already tested it and I know that's not going to work here. But we'll 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 show it to you. So we'll do that and the travel length. We'll we'll look, we'll look at that. Okay. So let's do the let's do the slot the side lever first since we already have it set up here. Now now I know this is a apples to apples okay you know there's two different guns you know if it, we had one of these guns in in both versions then yeah that'd be the same but it's just this demonstration here so uh let's uh let's get this thing ready here now on these here the when you pop them open like that they pop pop open that far uh, I didn't sit, put, push the ready button. All right, here we go. There it cocked about five pounds, twelve ounces. Do it again. Five pounds, ten ounces. We'll do one more. Oop, let me decock it. Five pounds, ten ounces. So we got an average of that can't be right because all of them were five, and this is saying four. <clears throat> so let's do this again. Do one more time here. Clear it out. We're ready. Now 
That was five pounds, seven ounces. Let's see if we can pick this up on the screen there. A little roughly five and a half, a little over five and a half pounds. Uh, let's do this now. From the center of it, back to full cock, that's about five and a half inches of travel. So total, total travel is 10 inches of travel that you're moving. Fired me while I get in front of the camera there. So, like I say, I already know that this isn't gonna cock at 12 pounds. Make sure it's uncocked. All right. Yeah, we got an overload and we didn't we didn't get it cocked. So it's taking well over 12 pounds to cock it. <clears throat> but let's see what kind of throw we have. From, let's just cock it. And we have about, about an inch and an eighth throw there. So we got two and a quarter inches of Forward and back plus the lifting motion. <clears throat> so obviously that one so obviously the lever action, side lever action has a mechanical advantage over on cocking. <clears throat> because here you're pulling you're pulling the bolt or the the spring compressing it yourself, you're pulling it straight back. Here you're using a, a, a set of uh, levers and arms in here to give it a mechanical advantage to reduce that. And that's where the, my, uh, the guy I was on, talking with online thinks this is so much better because I know he has a handicap and he can't pull you can't pull these heavier guns, especially when you start getting into some of these guns that are modified, that have heavy springs in them for getting up into uh, more foot pounds of energy to, you know, to open the valves more to, for your bigger calibers and stuff like that. So, I mean, like I said, this is just a video on the two differences of them. So, you know, which one's an advantage? You know, you got here, you're gonna lift and pull. You know, is that gonna wobble you around a lot versus pulling straight back and forward a little bit? Uh, this one has a twisting motion, obviously. Does that affect the pellet as it's being uh, put into the chamber? No, that's not gonna have an effect to you. At all, I don't see it anyway. But, uh, yeah, just a just a quick video comparing the two. Like I said, there's nothing to be arguing about. Everybody has their thing. Uh, what what we were talking about is the new uh, JTS air gun that was shown at the shot show. Uh, it's a bolt action, and it. It looks really, really similar to a firearm, and and functions way, way more like a firearm than this does. <clears throat> I thought it was pretty neat myself. I I don't prefer either one. It doesn't bother me, <clears throat> you know. But like I say, some people with handicaps, this this definitely would help them. And you know, 
A lot of people think that that's a better system. It, to me, you got so much longer throw, it's going to take you longer to cycle the gun. But you do have a lighter pull on it to, to uh, cock the gun. So, you know, to each his own, I guess you could say. I don't know. But anyway, like I say, this is just a simple little comparison. <clears throat> My opinion. So, but I do like that new gun that the JTS has come coming out. Pretty cool looking gun. They, matter of fact, uh, I want to say three people came out with that, maybe more. <clears throat> and uh, it's not new technology either. There's other manufacturers that's been doing it. All of a sudden, uh, some of the bigger names have jumped on top of it and <clears throat> wanting to do it. So, <clears throat> and I can understand why, but. Uh, Y'all just have to see it, see the guns itself, because they look totally different. So, anyway, that's enough rambling. <clears throat> just wanted to bring this out to y'all. Thanks for watching, everybody.